This is a uh, it's an eight hundred cap game. Uh, it's eight handed, and okay. the game had, the game had just opened up, so this is, we're like one orbit in. So I think pretty much everyone was sitting with eight hundred. Okay. Um. So it folds to me on the button, and I have queen seven of clubs, and open up the twenty dollars. The small blind and big blind both call. And how deep? Like about how deep are you? Eight hundred effective. Yeah. Um, okay. So the flop yeah. comes king of clubs, seven of hearts, three of diamonds. All right. And so the flop the... is king of clubs, seven of hearts, three of diamonds, and you raise to fifteen mm -hmm. pre-flop, right? Is that right? Twenty to twenty. All right. 20. So the pot's like uh, mm -hmm. sixty. Two, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Before rake. All right. Okay, so you got middle and, pair. Um, yeah, they they both checked to me, and I I decided to uh, check back. So check check check. So yep. in a late in a late position configuration here, you know it's kind of interesting. You've got a backdoor club draw. You have a seven. I would actually probably be betting this hand more often than if you had queens. Yeah. Um... I think I decided to check because I was betting into two people. I know it's even if I'm behind, I have some back doors that I can uh, barrel on, but also there were two, there were two older gentlemen into my left. So I wasn't expecting to, like I was expecting the small blind to maybe flat be flatting some, like uh, some Broadway hands. So that's, that's part of the reason I decided to check. Yeah. I just think, I mean, this is just a simple thing where this hand probably needs more protection. You know, obviously it needs more okay. protection than, you know, if you were to have jacks or queens. Um, also, too, I would say that I sometimes would prefer to bet a five out type of draw against a king. Not that you're necessarily going to see a reflection of some a king check raising, but sometimes depending mm -hmm. on if someone were to check raise small, you could bet and continue with queen seven of clubs, but you really couldn't bet and continue with nine nine even though nine yeah. nine stronger, right? But the hand itself mm -hmm. against that range is going to have more equity against the check raising range. But okay, so it gets checked through. Got it. Yep. Okay. So turn. the turn is the four of clubs. Okay. The small blind checks, the big blind bets 35. So oh, I think I've... small blind checks, big blind bets 35. Okay. Um, I, I call on the small blind folds or heads up on the river. So pot is 130. Again, going back, mm -hmm. you open the computer hand suited on the button to 20. Both blinds call. Queen, seven of clubs. This is a 2-5, 800 effective. King of clubs, seven of hearts, three of diamonds. Check, check, check. Turns the four of clubs. Pick up the flush draw. Small blind checks, big blind bets, 35. Okay. You call. Small blind yep. folds. Okay. Go to the river. Okay. So the river is the seven of spades. Okay. So you make trip sevens. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then the big line bets again for half pot 65. 65. I, okay. Um, I decide to raise 3x to 185. Okay. So before you tell me what's going to happen here, mm -hmm. and I am all for making obviously thin value bets and thin value raises at the end and looking at this one. So your kicker is going to be more often than not above average against somebody who's completing yeah. from the big blind. So you beat a lot of sevens here. What I was going to say is, is that, you know, it would be a lot better if there wasn't a straight out here. Like yeah. if it was like, you know, King seven deuce four seven, I think it would, this is obviously a slam dunk race, right? Um, yep. If he's got five, six and he's completing with five, six off that's 16 combos, um, and then it's just a question of like, how often will somebody bet here with a King and call a raise? Because a lot yeah. of, a lot of times in small level games, people won't even bet like King 10, King Jack here. So in a very, very extreme scenario, and I'm not necessarily saying this is one, this isn't overly complex, but if you're playing against a player that doesn't do a whole lot of thin value betting. So inherently when they put money in on the river, they're polarized. What do you think the right response would be for your hand with as queen seven on king seven three four seven if someone had a polarized range betting into you? What should your response be? 
You you mean if if he decided to go for like a like a pot or over pot sizing? No, I'm actually just saying if if the even if the 65 represents a polarized range. Oh. What I mean, you, I I still think that I still think that I would raise because I think that he's still gonna you um he still just has so many worse seven X that I can get value from. Uh, I don't know about that. I mean, even if we were to put seven X in a polarized range, I mean, you'd have to really look at the combos of because I mean, there's only one seven right of each combo yeah i guess that's right you know what i'm saying if he has all the five sixes and then he's got some pocket fours and pocket threes because it got checked around right he's kicks, yeah. you know all those things so the point that i'm making and I'm, I'm not saying that i wouldn't raise here i'm just saying that sometimes just by somebody betting on the river at the low stakes they're polarized no matter what the sizing is and my point is is that if it's against a polarized yeah. range maybe queen seven falls into a call and if you if you do raise here then I think you actually have to be prepared to raise and fold because, you know, you, the guy needs to have a king and call a raise. He can't just have strong hands and bluffs because there's no mm -hmm. point in raising, right? So you make it 185, okay? Okay. Yeah. Um, he kind of like hems and haws and then clicks it to 385. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. That's terrible. So let's do some pot odds here. So... Pot was 130. He bet 65 on the river, 195. So it's like 700 plus 200 to call. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that sucks. I mean, it just, yeah. I mean, so it's 250, 380, and then another 380. Yeah, it's 700, 700, 200 to call. I mean, when you're getting kind of pot odds like this and you have trips, it just kind of sucks. But I just, I don't know if you're actually, I don't know if you're actually good here. One out of three yeah, and a half times. So that's that's kind of what I was thinking. I, uh, at the stakes, I'm not expecting him to to turn anything to a bluff. And like a you know, from my experience, this third bet on the river is almost always going to be a boat, and maybe five six. Um, so I just didn't know if there was any chance that he could be overvaluing a you know a, a week or seven. No, I don't think so. I th I think this okay. is this is going to be a fold. Um, okay, that's what I figured. What did you do? You called? <laughs> no, I folded. Oh, you did. Oh, okay. So, did you ever figure out what the guy had? No, I showed. I showed my seven when he when I folded. Uh, he showed me a uh, uh, seven of diamonds, and he was like, you know, a a seven a seven's good, you know. And I I like uh, try to throw him a red chip. I was like, throw, show me the other card, and he threw it in the muck. So he had, he showed you a seven. Mm hmm. Interesting. Yeah, but I mean, he—I don't—he's not even three betting, but he's not even going to be three betting like, he's not even three betting like a seven here. I don't think. I, I just no, I don't think. I so. mean, that would be the and, bare bottom because you could have a straight, probably a king seven. And right? the longer, well, the longer I played in the session with this guy, like I had some under the gun raises where he on the river showed down hands where like I raised under the gun and he called an MP with like four ten suited and four eight suited. So I think all the combos of seven three suited, seven four suited, he's going to be defending right. as well. But you agree with me that he's not going to be three betting anything. Probably not even a seven is the bare bottom, right? No, I no, I yeah. I think like I, I wouldn't feel. I certainly wouldn't feel bad about him showing you a seven. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I thought that like, I mean, honestly, five six. I'm not even sure at the lower stakes if when the board pairs, if people are going to go for a third bet on the river. Yeah. If you like what you've seen here, please hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this call in hand, hit the like button down below. To check out CrushLivePoker.com, click on the link in the description. Use the code YTA300 to get the first 30 days for free.